Leah McFaul and you're watching Distract TV. We are joined by Leah McFall. Leah, how's Hi. it going? I'm pretty good. How are you, mate? I'm really good, actually. Really, really good. Good. Um, so, so much to talk about. So little time. But to start things off, who is Leah McFall? Tell us about yourself, your music inspirations. Ah, cool. Um, so I'm a singer, songwriter, um, and I'm from Belfast, which is why no one can understand my accent. And I grew up listening to everything, basically, a real like eclectic range, so like anything from opera to folk to jazz to R&B. And I was just like a wee sponge and soaked it all okay. up, which is kind of why my voice is schizophrenic. Okay, but, which yeah. is positive though, because we obviously love the voice. Okay. So that's, you know, it's a good time. <laughs> good time. Um, but so, so you mentioned a bit of jazz as well in there, right? Yeah. Where, where did that come from, that time? Um, what do you mean, as in who you introduced yeah, me to? Yeah, yeah. Um, my dad was just like, he was a singer, so he would have played like a lot. So, um, yeah, we would have just had it all around the house and then we would have had like gospel music and, okay. and yeah, he played opera as well. So I kind of like learned that as well. Yeah. He's just like a proper wee music man. So yeah. I grew up like listening to like everything. Love it. Yeah. Love it's, it. I think I would recommend it just yeah. for like pushing your voice places that you wouldn't have really yeah, if you yeah. were just in your wee genre. So. Very cool. And who, who are you currently listening to right now? Like, who's your kind of, like, go-to person? If we were, like, checking your phone, who would yeah, be on your phone? Probably Nail. <sighs> I know. Nice. What, even, it's just so good. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very nice. So I'm listening to her at the minute. And, um, yeah, probably then I just keep going back to, like, my favourites. Okay. Do you mean? Always. You always go back to your favourites. Yeah, of course. Yeah. What are your classic tracks? Um, so Michael Jackson, Human Nature. God, Michael Jackson? <laughs> Such a good time. I know, it's so good. And um, probably like Ray Charles and yeah. then like I listen to some folk music. There's a singer called Rosie Thomas. Okay. And I love her. I'll have to check and her out. And then like a blues kind of jazz singer called Ricky Lee Jones. Ricky Lee Jones, okay. I'm yeah. going to check that out as well. Ah. Um, tell us a bit about your current music. So you released your EP Inc. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah, it was really exciting. We self-released it in March time. I think. Okay. I think like and uh, we went then we put on like an independently funded tour okay. um, straight after and like basically like my boyfriend he isn't even in the music industry but he just like I was like we can't go we have no money we have nobody back in <laughs> what us. are we going to do yeah. and he was like Oh well, I'm not having that. Like, and he just googled how to put on okay. a tour. So yeah, so what, the <laughs> one where we rewind. He just googled how to put on yeah. a tour. Like people don't do that generally. It's so funny. Well, it was funny when we were doing it, and then once we put it both on our credit cards and realised like, what have we done? <laughs> and then yeah, within the life. first two weeks, we just crapped ourselves. Yeah, obviously. and then we were fine. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, we, a, it's a big risk, but it's amazing. Like, yeah, like, we ended up like selling like selling out like four or five venues, and then the rest of them were so packed, and it was incredible because it was the first time I got to meet the people supporting yeah. me from um, the show, and yeah, we got to play like all kind of classics, and then the new songs, and then the new songs that yeah. are coming out later on. So it was That's really great. good. It was so much fun. It's so good. It's, it's so nice that you got personal with them as well, like because obviously your fans are why you're where you yeah. are today. Yeah. Well, so. I mean, like to be honest with you. The, one of the main reasons why I really wanted to do it was because I wanted to do like meet and greets at the end just so yeah. I'd actually get to have a wee chat with them all yeah, yeah. and like so many people waited and just hearing their wee stories and like it was so lovely it was honestly the best two weeks ever so good yeah, very nice and in, in your creative process I mean tell us a bit about that because people who aren't generally you or musicians like don't really always, always understand what the process is when so, you come to write a record yeah when you come to write a record and obviously yeah. like even the whole piece and the video and like yeah. how, how does that Happen. Um, well, I worked with a producer that I worked with from before I was on The Voice um, called Pete Boxta. Okay. And he's just he's just such a lovely personality to have with you when you're doing something creative because yeah. like, he just makes you feel so relaxed. So he's um, he built the tracks and then you know we started working out melodies and stuff together. And usually I just kind of like close my eyes and listen to the beat and I get like either an image or I would okay. get like a, a word. And then I would just like write from that. So you're quite um, visual. Yeah. Okay. So then from right. that, you kind of like know what you want your videos to be. But yeah. actually, when it came to the videos, we had like a lot of incredible dancers. Okay. Um, just adding me on Instagram and showing it's me right. videos. It's not bad. Yeah, and showing me videos of nice. them dancing to my stuff. So one of the girls, she was in LA, and I have a director friend out there that I worked with when I was with Will over there. Okay. So I was just like, oh, 
Will yeah. you be in my video? So. That's that's really cool. I mean, you just kind of like literally just dropped Will. Like like people don't generally do that. That's that's super cool. What was that like? Like working with him in LA? Yeah, it was amazing. He introduced us to like top songwriters like um, Esther Dane and Toby Gad and uh, Sia was in the studio as well. And it was amazing because yeah. you were just learning off you know what what yeah. their rewriting process is. Yeah, of course. So it was so cool. And yeah, it was absolutely amazing. It was great to like meet meet those people yeah. and to to learn how to like write. In different yeah. ways. Yeah. So yeah. Did you ever have like a surreal pinch myself moment where you were like, "Is this actually happening?" I think um he he brought us to sing with him at the Grammys and it was the Music I Care event and it yeah. was in honor of Carole King and I met her and I was literally like the first competition I ever won for singing I sang like Natural Woman okay. which is obviously her song and I was literally like, "Hi," um, and before I went on stage like. Lady Gaga walked off, so I was literally like, oh my god. Obviously. Goodness. I was like, am I doing this? Like, I'm literally going on after yeah. Lady Gaga. So I think that was a bit of a, like, surreal moment. But, um, yeah, there was a there was a lot along the journey. Do you know mm. what I mean? It was it was definitely a dream come true. So. Yeah, very cool. Um, and tell us about your up-and-coming projects. What what are you doing next? Are you kind of focusing on the music still? Are you touring? Have you got any releases? Um, well, yeah, we just released that record, so we're still, we're still pushing it. Um, nice. And just, like... Yeah, we're um, talking to Sinks and stuff like that and seeing about getting it in like movies and stuff. That would be amazing. Very cool. And um, we already have like quite a few tracks that are like ready to go for maybe later on this year or early next year. Cool. And we'll probably just go on tour again. But because we're independently doing it, um, it's pretty free. We just yeah. kind of... <laughs> but it's also nice because it gives you so much creative control and you don't yeah. have to like, you know sell your soul and do stuff that you don't really feel inside that's honest and I think I, think I just really want to explore it now for a little yeah. bit um, I mean I don't really know what's coming around the corner but for now it's like so exciting to kind of run it as your own wee business yeah um, as a, and I think I think at some stage I kind of got a bit confused as to am I the product or is the music the product then that had blurred lines yeah, right? yeah so then yeah. it was just like oh no like what I'm creating is what you know what I mean I'm wanting to yeah. pass on to other people and that's quite so important that's as well yeah, okay, it is really important. It's important just for your own wee mindset as an yeah. artist. It's good for you to come to that realisation yeah. that you're not the product. <laughs> I, I saw an interview with Lady Gaga and she did something similar, but she did that much later than you did. So, in theory, you're ahead of the trends before uh, her. Mm, that's perhaps not, but Well, I mean, I mean, she <laughs> did. She recently said that she she's moved away from, like, you know, what she was doing before because this is now personal to her. And it sounds like you've done the same thing, but before her. Yeah. Right out <laughs> anyway, um, so... What advice would you have for up and coming artists and music musicians? Like, would, what advice would you have for them? Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't have like a lot of business advice because I think everybody's journey is different, and the certain people around you, you'll figure out for yourself if they're the people that are right for your wee team, yeah. or you know what I mean, whether or not like there's you know maybe other people you could probably branch out with. Yeah. So I think everybody's journey is different, but in terms of just you know being a wee artist, I would just say keep your friends and family very close because they're the yeah. ones that still care about what you have for lunch that yeah, day yeah. and not who you met yeah. so do you know what I mean and yeah. have your best, best interest at heart oh, not yeah definitely or... like and that's that's the best advice that actually will give us he yeah. was just like make sure your wee team's like yeah. your best mate and yeah. I was like okay <laughs> it's good advice good advice um, so we're going to move a little bit into fashion and style now okay so before this began we discussed about the boots and we, yeah. I love them them, very you. nice, very on trend, very, very nice. Um, who would you describe as your style inspirations and how would you describe your style? Um, I really find that question hard because I literally mm. have no idea. I just wear what I like and don't really kind of research it beforehand. Yeah, okay, which is, which is probably good to be honest because um, you're doing your own thing. And it's changed so much. Like, I think I kind of realised, right, I am the type of person that will look back within a month and cackle at what yeah. I wore last month. Not three years ago. I know that's a normal, month, but that's pretty... I'm a month. Yeah, I literally look back and go, I can't believe I wore that. Okay. Um, so like, remember I had the brown fringe, and then somebody wrote on YouTube, and um, it looks like she wiped her bum with her fringe, and I was like, okay, that was. I actually really remember good. that. To be <laughs> do you? I actually do remember that. Did you see that, that comment? No, I, no I, I remember the brown fringe. I don't, yeah. not, not the comment. But right. I mean. Sometimes you have to do these things, right? You I know, risks, but so. the thing is, that comment was hilarious. Like, it wasn't even mean. It was just like, do you know what? That's hilarious. I mean, I definitely dyed it back to blonde. <laughs> yeah, the next day. Um, But <laughs> the yeah, the next day, the next day. I cackled and was like, very good. Hi, can I actually book an appointment? Um, <laughs> just going to dye my hair. Thank you. Based on the comment. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't really know. I think just like, just kind of 
where I would have gone. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then regret it miserably. Straight away. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, who are your style inspirations? Have you got like a go-to person, or I mean, have, is there anyone out there like are you? Like, you know, Alexandra McQueen. Are you? You know, underground designers, is, is, or you literally just do your own thing? Like, um, I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, I studied fashion and everything, but I feel like I don't really actually know very much about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then also, like, I just kind of say to my mates, like, <laughs> here, do you like this? And then um, one of my best friends happens to be a stylist, so it's actually oh, here, nothing mine. So I'm just like, here, mate, do you like this? Or does it look stupid? Do you like it? And he's like, well, I really like it. I'm like, it's <laughs> <"Tingle." laughs> right, I'm going to do what I want anyway, regardless. <laughs> Um, what's your fashion must have? DMs with everything, mainly just because they're like, you know, quite comfy. And yeah. um, also like, it's kind of not my must have, it's what like, I really don't want to have. And that's a bag. I really, right. really hate feeling burdened. Okay. So Burdened, I, that's quite a lot. So I really like, I really like jackets with big pockets. Okay. I like oversized jackets anyway. I actually like yeah. menswear more than I like women's okay, wear. So I, I wear a lot of menswear. But um, yeah, big pockets so I can put stuff in that and not have what to bring What are you putting bag. in the pockets, Leah? I'm putting like, you know, my makeup and all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All my makeup and all my money. So I'm easily robbed. But Obviously. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to go with the big pockets and lunch. Yeah, let's get, let's get. Uh, this is our round. It's called This or That Game. Yeah. Okay. Question one. Hills or flats? Flats. Songwriting or singing? Songwriting. Night out or early bird? Night out. Waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. Marilyn or Audrey? Marilyn. Diamonds Oops. or pearls? Diamonds. Spring or autumn? Spring. Country music or t- trap music? Trap music. Polka dots or stripes? Stripes. Night in or night out? Night out. I thought we did that one. No, the first one was hills or flats. Oh. And then the third one was night out or early bird. Ah. So, <laughs> night in or night out? <laughs> Are you trying to disguise the question? Are you trying to like work around the question? I don't think you said that one right. No, I'm not joking. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And what's the reason for that? Um, because I really prefer other people's company. Whenever I get like, okay. whenever I'm left alone with my thoughts for really long, I'm bored. I'm, like, okay. Bored. Yeah, but like me, talk to other to people. Like, yeah, need like outside energy. Yeah, basically. I'm definitely an extrovert. Brilliant. So yeah, night out. Fantastic. <laughs> Leah, that's been it. Oh. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I've had such a blast. It's been so much fun. Me too. Um, make sure you bring me on tour with you next time when you're out of the house. Remember me. Right. Make it happen. <laughs> Leah, thank you so much. Thank you.